There's Kodai Senga. His ghost fork ball has been so effective. It's his other pitches, though, his breaking ball, cutter, and fastball that haven't been as effective. He's looking for a little better and longer effort tonight. Call two hits and two walks last night. He's walking at a rate that he never has before. 13 walks already for a 354 on base percentage. And Call takes it wide. Ball four, four fastballs out, all out of the strike zone. And Senga walks the leadoff hit. Luis Garcia may be the biggest knock of the game for the Nationals last night. Double play ball right at McNeil. Lindor with the turn and safe. Close play, but Garcia with enough speed to beat it out. One out and one on. Here's Jamer Condolario. Fly ball hit to shallow right. Coming in toward the line is Marte. And he puts it away for the second out. Joey Manessis to DH. Three for five. Drove in a couple of runs last night. And the breaking ball dribbled out to the right side. Single will go to cover. Take the flip from Alonzo. And that's how the top of the first comes to an end. Mets come to bat with no score. And the young left-hander the Nats got in the Juan Soto trade. Mackenzie Gore makes the start for the Nats. If they want to return to 2019 form, their young pitchers are going to have to be great. Gray was last night. Gore looking for that same effort tonight. Nimmo leads off. He's been crushing lefties early in the season. Three pitch see ya. 96 by Brandon Nimmo for out number one here, bottom one. Now Starling Marte, the batter, he ripped down to third. Candelario to a knee, to his feet, and a strong on target throw gets Starling Marte. Every day we get a chance to see more and more of Jamer play third base. We see how much he protects. Low, and I mean that by he doesn't come up. He goes to the ground. You can get low, stay low. Well, you have to get on the ground for that, and then check it and throw it across. Nicely done by Jamer yet again. So two out of nobody on now. Lindor one for four last night, and a rollover ground ball to short. Abrams will have to hurry a little. Plenty of time to get Lindor. Nats have two in scoring position here in the second. Prime opportunity for the Nationals to jump on top in the early innings again. Lane Thomas, first pitch swinging a roller down to third. Escobar doesn't have a play. Ruiz in to score, and Nats have a one nothing lead. Way to go. That's a special. We like to call that a special. I honestly, when it, it got hit, you're going, oh, he's going to make that play. No, he's not. What a read by Cabert Ruiz. Here's C.J. Abrams. C.J. does not square and slaps one through the left side. Dom Smith coming home. Throw on the way from Canna. Not in time. Aggressive send by Gary D. Sarcina right in front of Mark Canna. Back to back RBI knocks, and the Nats have a 2 0 lead. Use those hands of CJ Abrams, and then right here, Donald Smith, he's getting the send. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Victor Robles getting down there, getting in his spot, telling him where to go. It's a long run if you don't know that, that foul territory over there for Victor. Nice job, Dom. Home second inning, Pete Alonso leads off against Mackenzie Gore. Lands the breaking ball for strike three. Pete Alonso totally locked up. And now Mark Canna. Well, he can have a seat. Mackenzie Gore's got the curveball going. Mark Canna might not like it, but that's back to back strikeouts on the curve and three for Mackenzie on the game. Two out infield hit for McNeil, and here's Tommy Pham. He kicks and fires. Swing, a miss. He struck him out, and the side retired. Three strikeouts in the inning for Mackenzie Gore. Pitches around the two out infield hit for Jeff McNeil. Bottom of the third inning at City Field. And the first pitch to Eduardo Escobar is lined to right field. Lane Thomas slides in feet first, and it bounces by him all the way to the wall. Escobar heading towards third base. Abrams receives the cutoff throw in right field and runs it in. Eduardo Escobar with a triple to lead off the bottom of the third inning for the Mets. Boy, just misplayed by Lane Thomas. My gosh, he had the right idea. If he had the wrong beat, the ball must have been tailing, and he certainly didn't read it. And Escobar can run. He is a speedster. So an opposite field triple for Escobar. Marte with a nine pitch at bat first time up. Marte drives one to left center, cutting across his call. He can't get it. He short hops it. In to score is Escobar. Marte with the RBI single to get the Mets on the board. Big two out pickup by Marte after Nito and Nimmo couldn't get the run in. It's two to one. Fourth inning, Mets down a run. And so the Nationals have two on with nobody out, and Victor Robles at the plate. And Robles goes down swinging. Got him with a fork ball. Strikeout number five for Senga in the first out of the inning. Back to the top for Alex Call. One two to Call. And he struck him out. Got him with the splitter. 
Strikeout number six for Singer, and that's a big second out. Well, when he's working on top, it's very difficult for these guys to lay off this pitch. It is a nasty pitch. His other pitches need to be a little better to get him ahead more often. Beautiful job of extrication by Senga. It's still two to one now. Kone Senga back out for the fifth inning. Joey Manessis one for two with a single up the middle. Manessis grounds one down to Escobar and it goes right through the wickets. Well you won't see that very often. Very very solid defender and it happens to all of us. See if the Nats can cash in. It'll bring up Kbert Ruiz who has walked and grounded into a double play and certainly Senga would love another one of those ground balls here. The pitch. Hit hard towards second on one hop. McNeil's got it. Shovels to second one. Lindor to first. Double play. Senga got just what he needed. And the Nationals are done in the fifth. Oh, well, we head to the sixth inning. Nationals leading the Mets two to one. And now Jeff Brigham, who's been terrific. Hopped up on the infield. Alonzo tearing in and overruns it. Dom Smith's going to second. Oh. Throw skips off Keep him. Keep going, Stubble fight. And he's going to go back. Chaos on true? the infield here at City Field, and Buck Showalter displeased. When he slowed down, he got on his heels. And when you get on your heels, the ball starts bouncing. Two in scoring position now for Cole. And he goes down swinging on the high fastball. Big strikeout for Jeff Brigham. And the Nats strand two more in scoring position, still two to one. Mackenzie Gore, six innings of just brilliant. Pitching tonight. Yeah. There's the yacker. You got five on the curveball, five on the heater. He got 19 swing and misses his career high, and that was filthy. And he set the Nationals up to win back to back ball games here in City Field if they can hang on. Seventh inning, Nationals lead the Mets 2 to 1. There's Candelario, who's 0 for 3 tonight, 0 for 7 in the series. Is hit in the air to deep right field. Way back it goes to the track, to the wall, and it's gone. Jamer Candelario with a solo shot over the wall and straightaway right for a huge insurance run in the seventh inning. Home run number four for the Nats third baseman. The Nats lead it three to one. Charlie Monte trying to bring some of that dynamism here in the bottom of the seventh. He's driven in the only run for the Mets tonight. And he comes up with two in scoring position. Meanwhile, the hard throwing right hander Hunter Harvey on the pitch. Gets another strikeout here. Nothing but fastballs from Hunter Harvey who blows away Starling Marte for out number two. Francisco Lindor. Who got him? Utter filth from Hunter Harvey here in the seven. Strands two in scoring position and the Nats hold their 3-1 lead. So Robles is off for the second time with a walk and now Alex Call will come up and let's have to be concerned about the running game here. Throw to first gets away from Alonso. And on to second goes Victor Robles. He'll make the turn. Alonso up with it. And Robles will hold right there as the throw is into Lindor behind the mound. Wow. This has not been a defensive clinic for Buck Showalter's team. Robles takes off again. He's got another bag. So now runner third with two out. <laughs> Line drive back up the middle. Alex Call delivers with two outs. The two out walk comes back to hurt the Mets and the Nats have a 4 1 lead. There's the add on. There's the part where you're going. This is how you learn how to win. How do you learn how to win. Add on late. Last of the ninth Nationals who won last night 5 nothing have a 4 to 1 lead. So they'll go to their closer Kyle Finnegan bidding for his fifth save of the season. Francisco Alvarez who's the Mets last hope tonight. Pinch ran for Daniel Vogel back in the seventh. Got him looking. Make that 15 K's of Mets hitters tonight. And the Nats for the second straight night dominate the Mets in their own yard. They're 4-1 winners tonight.